Wednesday at Martha's Vineyard. Um, today, my camp path is vineyard inspired. Um, I've chosen a very windy beach to go to. Um, but the purpose of being at the beach today is to collect some rocks. Uh, we're going to do some rock art, which is one of my favorite vineyard and camp crafts. Um, and something I've started to do since moving here. So you don't need beach rocks. You can do any rocks that you like. But I thought I would uh, give you guys a glimpse of the beach here. Um, some nice smooth rocks. I'm going to collect um, you know, colors. It can be all different colors. I find you know, they do really need to be kind of smooth, which helps me in the ocean to help you smooth this crossover. Um, but you can go to the beach, you can go to the lake, you can even find some probably in your drive-by or in the, you know, surrounding woods. So, beach not required, but, but anyway. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead, um, I think it's a very rocky beach, so I'm going to go ahead and collect some rocks. <laughs> and, uh, I will All right, hi. So we are back on my deck, ready to decorate our rocks. And so, gonna be honest with you guys, um, painting and drawing are not my speciality, so I'm not gonna be giving you a ton of art advice, um, but hopefully maybe a little inspiration. Um, and maybe you are like me and you aren't the best artist in the world, but that's why rock art is great for you because um, I'm more rustic, and simplistic style is still cute, I think at least. So uh, here are some of the pieces I've done. This piece is a little bit older. The rock is a bit more textured, um, but I think the wear and tear kind of adds some unique quality to it. We use this as our door holder here out on the deck. Um, this piece I'm gonna give to my mom. I used a paint marker on a shell. Uh, so my different uh, materials that I use, I use paint markers. Um, these I just got off of Amazon. They work super well. They do take time to dry, so just note that. And I think I like them a bit more, um, but you can also use gel pens um, for a bit more finer art pieces. Most of these are done with the paint. Um, you could do some layering approaches, so like on this one, I did the back coloring, wait for it to dry, and then do the word over it. So I'm gonna do another one like that here. Um, and so these are just great little art project just to do for yourself. You can create them and leave them on the beach like we saw earlier. You can make them for a friend. This one I made for my daughter with her name on it. Um, so really just anything that inspires you. This one has the, the gel pen on it, so a little finer. Um, let me see if I can color this in a little bit to give you an idea of how the gel pen goes on onto the rocks. So you can help, make, help to make your decisions whether you're gonna go gel pens or paint markers. And so once you have your rock art done and all dry, um, you can take it out into a well-ventilated area, maybe put it on top of an old tarp or something, and go ahead and spray it with some clear coat spray paint. That'll just help, um, help it stay on there longer, especially if you're planning to, you know, put them out in the garden or put them in a potted plant or something like that where they might seem, see some more wear and tear. This one was done with the um the gel pens as well this one is just you know sometimes fun to have a blue rock instead of a gray rock so just little things these are both done on more red rocks the white rocks so really anything that you want um possibilities are endless so this is a great craft for 
kids, for adults. I find it super relaxing and fun. Um, and I always love the stuff that I create and can give it away as gifts or I kind of just put it next to the stairs in, in my front yard. So anything that you choose to do with your rock art, display it proudly or keep it on your bureau, it's up to you. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this fun camp craft. Alrighty, see you later. Bye.